Morning all. Welcome back, Simply Snuff Time. I'm back in sunny Batley. What time is it, Simon? Simon, what time is it? Simon, it's ten past ten. I've got a bit of this stuff in my pocket to review. I'm out having a walk. I've had a bit of Dolly Parton on the on the earbuds. Yeah, I love a bit of Dolly. Yes, I hear you. What's your favourite song, Simon? Me and Little Andy. Yes, that's my favourite Dolly song. In fact, what you probably didn't know is I've actually been to Dollywood. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I travelled all the way from the UK to Pigeon Forge on my own to go to Dollywood. Yeah, and she wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> My life was in tatters. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was so wanting to meet Dolly. Anyway, I had a lovely time. I mooched around. I went on the rides, and uh, there were lots of people there. Um, quite different from me. They were all wandering around with these, you know, they were eating these uh, turkey legs. <laughs> Yo, <Yoda> things. <laughs> They're all gnawing on these turkey thighs or whatever. <laughs> They're about this size, look like an offensive weapon. <laughs> Something like, you know, Barney Rubble. The Flintstones will be having It's one of them, you know. I get out of miss anyway. I had a hot dog. Uh, yeah, I had a dolly dog. Sorry, that's the train going to Leeds. Uh, yeah, I had a dolly dog. It was lovely. Succulent. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> Yeah, a long way to go, wasn't it? Anyway, I had a great time. Yeah, just shame she wasn't there. But anyway, I still love her. I still love Dolly. Um, so I've got this stuff. I've got SNUV Reaper, the Reaper. Yeah. Now, there's a few things about this uh, snuff that probably are not up my street. First is, it ain't got no tobacco in it. It's a bull. Yes. It's an herbal snuff. It's got Himalayan herbs in it. Whatever Himalayan herbs are, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what Himalayan herbs in, but whatever they are, they're in here. Uh, but it's uh, it's got loads of added flavours, scents, and it's apparently it's got a big banging vitamin N hit. So uh, we'll give it a go. I bought it from Mr. Snuff. It's, I think it's a 10 gram tin. I think it's a 10 gram tin. I'm not absolutely certain, but I think it's 10 grams in it and it cost eight pounds 81. So it is not cheap. But you know, with a name like uh, The Reaper, I thought I had to try it. So let's give it a go. Uh, tin's good as ever. It's black with a black and white label. Nicely labeled on the back. Nothing not to like about that. I can smell it already. It smells of berries and bubblegum. Yeah, wild berries and bubblegum. I can't smell any Himalayan herbs in it. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows, maybe we'll get some. It's light brown in color. It's very fluffy. It's very moist. Uh, or more, oh, very moist, that's not fair. It's medium moisture and it's a fine grind. So what am I getting here? I'm getting mixed berries and I'm getting a little bit of floral, bubblegum, some other nondescript scents, maybe they're the Himalayan herbs kicking around in the background. It's got a very bold smell. As you know, I'm not a big fan of fruit flavoured snuffs, but this is rather different. Mixed berries, is it? bit of blackberry, blueberry, the softer fruits, it's all mixed in, hard to pick out and identify any one, but yep, yeah, it's very good, and as I say, it's got a bit of this bubblegum, the original bubblegum scent to it, very strong out the tin, I'm not going to get this on the snuff paddle, because I reckon it's going to blow me, you know what's off, front of nose, It's got a right old burn on it. I can't comment on the uh, the base flower because it ain't got any. So I don't know quite what it's made up of, but it's got it's got a cracking burn on it. 
don't know how to sit in the nose, that moisture is really good. Despite the fact that it's a fine grind, it doesn't fly down the back of your throat. But that's a right sneezer, is that one? Oh yeah, that's good. If, oh, yeah, I think that's gonna make me sneeze. Is it? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Bloody hell. Oh, that means business. It's not often I sneeze, but that got me. Mind it is the first one of the day. Oh, oh man. Oh, what have I got in here? I'll tell you what, when I say it's bubblegum, I'll tell you what it smells of with those mixed berries. It smells of, do you remember that chewing gum? Juicy fruit. Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. It smells like that. That's exactly what it smells like. It's big, it's bold, it's got a little bit of orange kicking around in there, I think. But it's a very fine grind. But it's got a cracking burn, but that vitamin N in it is going to give you a head spin if you're not careful. It's absolutely on it. It's on it. Oh yes. It remind The burn on it reminds me a little bit <coughs> of those oh, Boica type snus with a little bit of chilli going on in there. I don't know whether there is any chilli. I've not read there's any chilli but it feels like there's a little bit of chilli in it because you're getting that deep burn with it. Oh man, stings on the bump. Honestly, you've got to be careful with this one. I, I can feel that vitamin N already. I'm only going to have one more. It's made by Six Photo, I think. Under license, I think it's. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is on it. Absolutely on it. Hang on, I've dropped the lib tin. I mean, <laughs> I mean the tin lid, <laughs> not the lid tin. <laughs> what a chuffing. Cabbage you are, Simon. What a cabbage. I can't get the lid back on. It's maybe glass of steam up. Oh, I really didn't think I'd like this. I really didn't because, it, you know, but it's good. It's good. But hellfire, it's out there, it's strong, it's really, it's what we call a well hard, well hard. SNUV Reaper, no base flower, banging, banging vitamin N. Lots of mixed berries, fruit, juicy fruit, bubble gum, that type of stuff. A little bit of floral in it, a little bit of an orangey scent I pick up, and I'm, you know, I won't be, I won't. I, I wouldn't be certain, but I think it might have a little bit of hint a chilli going on in there, because that burn is something to behold. You might want to give it a go. As I say, I got it from Mr. Snuff, and it cost me £8.81. £8.81? Uh, 10 grand. £8.80. £8.80, not £8.81 uh, for, uh, for a 10 gram tin. Give it a go. You might like it. <laughs> I think it might be what we describe as a, uh, <coughs> blimey, a Marmite Snuff, to be honest with you. Either you're going to love it, or you're not going to love it. It's a thumbs up from me, though. I like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep well. Chin chin.